plus a series of hard keys adjacent to the head unit. We'll explain the function of each starting with the power volume knob. Pressing the knob turns the audio system on or off. Pressing and holding the knob turns off the screen and sound. Rotating the knob left or right adjusts the volume. Selecting the map key takes you to your current location on the map. If you press the map key while navigation is active, the voice guidance command is repeated. Selecting the nav key takes you to the navigation route screen. If you press and hold the nav key, the places screen appears. The radio key turns the radio mode on. When you press the key repeatedly with the radio turned on, it toggles between FM, AM, and Sirius XM modes. Selecting the media key allows you to play media from a smartphone that's connected via a USB cable, via Bluetooth wireless technology, or a USB flash drive that's connected directly to the USB port. If you press the media key twice with the device connected, the media selection window will appear on the screen. The seek and track keys change the broadcast program channel, music, or file when using the radio or media function. If you press and hold seek or track key, the system will search for a station while listening to the radio. The star or custom key lets you choose what it controls, providing access to a selected feature with one press of the custom key. Selecting the setup key displays the settings screen. When you press and hold the key, the system information screen appears. Rotating the tune knob allows you to change channels while listening to the radio. It also allows you to search for a song when using a connected device. Rotating the tune knob while on the map screen allows you to zoom in and out of the map. For example, selecting the voice recognition or talk button allows you to speak to the system to initiate a call. The mode button changes the media source selection such as FM, AM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth audio. The volume control allows you to adjust the level of the sound. The mute button silences the sound, except for navigation guidance. The call button lets you answer a call, or call the last number dialed. And the end call button simply ends the call. ...is to press and hold the call button on the steering wheel. That initiates the pairing process. Make sure the device you're pairing is turned on and Bluetooth is enabled. Then open the Bluetooth screen on that device so it will search for Bluetooth connections. Select the vehicle system on the list of search devices. The system's Bluetooth name will appear on the Add New Device window. Ensure the passkey on the device matches the one on the system screen. Then pair the connection on your phone. If you want to download your contacts and messages from your phone to your Kia, you must allow the access request on your phone. After the access request is approved, it may take several seconds until the Bluetooth connection is completed. Once your Bluetooth connection is successful, you will see the Bluetooth connection indicator icon at the top of the screen. If there are two registered devices in the vehicle at the same time, you can use one for calls while the other can be used to stream audio. Just select which one you want to use for calls and which one you want to use for music by pressing the settings icon next to the device. 